Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And for my extended family, this sends love and support to me each and every day. You are a truly God sent blessing. And thank you so much for the love and support and the kind words you do send me each and every day when you see my videos. It's greatly appreciated. So with that being said, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my channel, and if you've been actually watching my videos or whatever, and have not yet, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if, if it's about positive feedback about the video or even content about the video. Just give me your opinion. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, enjoy what you heard, please spread the word, like, give me a thumbs up, share. It will be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And today, my meditation music, which is so beautiful, is Pure Energy, 432 Hertz, Vibrations, Letting Go of All Negative Energy and Transform. And we truly need that right now. And my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hell, because are you being affected by the lunar eclipse that's coming up? We have three lunar eclipses that are coming up. One um, is July 17th, and I think the other one is the 24th, and then um, August 13th. I have to go double check on that, but then I'll put in the, the, the link, you know, the dates in the description box below. But there are so many videos I've been watching on when it comes to Twin, twin Flames and the Archurians and stuff like that, and they're talking about how... Our emotions are going to start being affected, like, around this time this week. You know, it's going to really start hitting us hard on Father's Day out of all days Father's Day. I'm like, you know what, um, especially for me, I really don't need that right now. That's why I'm trying to let go of whatever I got to let go of, y'all. So if you got some stuff you need to let go of, you know, go ahead and do that. Because, I mean, we're going to start getting hit hard. It's like people that I'm close connected with, you know, I'm close connected to all my viewers, but there's some that I talk to on a daily basis or on a personal, real personal level. And it's like we are all affected by each other's emotions. We know when each other is going through things and we we know um, when, you know, when our attitudes or our emotions change and we're all checking up on each other like, hey, you know, are you okay? Is something going on? And then you know, and then it goes from so forth and so forth. So it's just like, you know, it's just like when we can affect affect the earth, the earth can affect us in so many different ways. But it might feel like a dad on nightmare to you, you know, things like I said before, um, light bulbs will start blowing, batteries will start draining. Your phone will probably get frozen a couple times. I mean, it's just like lately since my emotions have been so sensitive. I mean, I mess around with my electronics. I can mess around with my my uh, computer and next thing you know, it'll start updating by itself and I won't even touch anything. Or, you know, my, my computer get frozen and it wasn't doing that before. Or my phone will get frozen and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So it's just like our energies are starting to combine and it feels like, like I said, I don't know if I said this before about some of my friends, it's like I hear from up there, it's like I feel activated, like I keep on hearing the word activated and I don't know what I'm getting activated for. I'm starting to work out a lot more, I'm, you know, I'm very, you know, trying to be conscious about what goes in my body and all these different things that are going on and it's just like it's amazing but it's kind of creepy at the same time how everybody's starting to connect and how we got so many things in common and it's just like every day <clears throat> people are starting to get more comfortable with opening up to me and I mean that's a beautiful blessing and it's just amazing how all of us is just like I love doing these videos you know I love when the fact is I can experience something and I feel comfortable enough and vulnerable enough to be able to let you know, you know, you're not by yourself. You're not going crazy. You know, the things that you're hearing inside of your head, unless it's telling you to do some demonic stuff or telling you to kill somebody, then you need to go see some psychiatric help. 
but there's just so many different people all over the world. I hear that they're talking about they hear voices, and you know, I I get compelled to do these videos. I can be having private thoughts that I have that I'm writing down to myself, and then next thing you know, all these contents will start coming out. Like I got so much information that people need to know, and it, it's just like everything that you're picking up is collaborating with things that you need to learn on your path especially knowing your your gift and it's just like so new but it seems surreal at the same time like am i really going through this is this really happening right now am i getting visions am i seeing things from you know my past am i seeing things from the future i know it's me but it, it doesn't seem like a place that i've been before but yet i'm seeing myself do these things so you're having all these emotions come up. So just to let you know you're not by yourself. You know, pay attention to the signs. Look how you, you probably already felt a shift. There's a lot of people, a lot of my viewers, family, um, that are coming to me telling me they feel a shift. They feel like something's coming. It's just like I've been nesting, you know, cleaning out everything in my house. And, you know, I feel so light. You know, I feel like I got a lot of room, too. So it, it just feels really good that I was able to let go of all these things. And I still have some things that I'm struggling with that I know I have to work on. But, you know, it's just to know that you're not, you know, you're you're not, you know, thinking, oh, God, am I paranoid? You know, because a lot of people think it's the rapture or things like that. I don't feel anything that, um, that might feel like is, is uh, you know, throwing up caution signs or anything. It's not anything like that. It just feels like the world's having a makeover that we truly need right now. And it's just wiping out things that, yes, we do care about and people we care about. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are not able to handle that, the, you know, the emotions, the memories, you know, things that, that, that triggers, you know, their emotional weaknesses. You know, that's why I figure, to me, in my opinion, that's why I feel like these suicides are starting to come off. You know, people are, are dying left and right. And it's just, to me, I just, I, I got that feeling like it was deeper than, a, you know, depression and stuff like that. They were really dealing with things like we're dealing with them, but we were able to be strong enough to be able to deal with them and say, okay, how do I need to deal with this? I can't run from this any longer. I want to face it, even though you feel like dying sometimes because you don't want to deal with these feelings. But eventually, you're going to have to face them anyway. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. And I will see you on my next one. And hope you won't be a stranger. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear from you. And stay blessed. Stay prosperous. Stay loved. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And if you see somebody with their frequency low, try to send some nice words to raise it to the roof. And if you do, say kind words to yourself because we need that sometimes so you can raise your frequency to the roof. And I will talk to you later. Much love. Peace. And be wild.